Mr. Zenia, let me start with you. You're a public company now, and so you're going to get questions like this one, which is, I noticed that you're um, forecasting that your core adjusted earnings before interest and taxes is going to move quite higher from 2021 to 22 and 23. Higher, in fact, at a rate that you've seen in the past. And I wonder, why is that? What is fueling your expectations of significant growth in adjusted EBIT? I think because we are prepared uh, to become a better company. COVID has helped us uh, to uh, get lighter in the cost uh, and to come out with a new strategy, which is moving our perception of the brand from a power suit brand to a luxury leisure brand. The lifestyle of customer is changing a big deal, and I think this is the way to go. Then we decided to consolidate our brand from three brands to one. Our name is Xenia, period. More focused, uh, more consistent, one uh, strong marketing message across the world. And I think that these are some of the reasons why uh, we are going uh, in a new direction. Last but not least, uh, we are an important industry in Italy, and we are going to uh, strengthen our textile part of the industry, which is key for the fashion industry, in a moment in which the raw material is becoming scarce and very expensive and very, and very difficult to, to find. So through this uh, verticalized process, uh, we are going to be able to control better the entire chain. Are you seeing signs of that uh, transformation you were just discussing already in this, in, this, in this time? Or is this all what you expect to see as a result of changes you've made? Absolutely not. Uh, uh, I think we have seen, we have started the change already this season, and we see a good traction uh, across the world. Uh, and so I think that this uh, season has been a good test. You see uh, the way I'm dressed today. If it was uh, two years ago, I would have come with a double-breasted suit with, uh, with uh, shirt and ties. Today, I'm gone totally casual, knitwear, uh, jersey, uh, sustainable fabrics. Uh, you don't see my sneaker, but my sneaker is sustainable, done with Xenia fabric. So it's an all-new paradigm. And I think once you get used to this type of apparel, uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to go back. That doesn't mean that the suit is back. Absolutely not. We remain champion of the suit, but it's a matter to uh, uh, change the, the styling of the suit. And so uh, the answer is yes. Andrea, this deal gives uh, about $762 million in gross proceeds. What would you like to see that money spent on? I think Zegna has the possibility of being the, the center for Italian consolidation in the future, uh, but not, in, if you want, in a French manner, in an Italian manner. So it's not going to be a conglomerate per se, it's going to be a luxury group. I mean, key to Zegna and to Gildo is to remain focused on luxury. Therefore, organic growth is going to be very important. But, you know, there will be acquisitions. Tom Brown was a great example. Uh, Gildo courageously a few years ago invested half a billion dollars in Tom Brown, and that was the right thing. It's a great brand here in the States, and they benefited each other from being together. Gildo, this is a 111-year-old company. It's rare to see century-old companies go public. Uh, why did you do so now, and why did you choose this back route to get there? Huh. Good question. I would say that uh, the talks uh, of uh, an IPO have been forever, and uh, um, until last year we decided that, that we should continue the course. Uh, that was uh, strategically correct. And I think that the family had enough means uh, to go forward. The example of Tom Brown is a good example. Three years ago, we played a long shot. We were very successful, and we were very pleased on to how, how Tom is proceeding. So uh, the fact is that uh, Andrea Bonomi, an old friend of mine, created this pack with Cesar Motti last November in New York and asked me last January if I wanted to join. We talked. Uh, we thought it made a lot of sense. Uh, we saw a synergetic effect with an investor that we lulled on. And uh, I brought this to the family and to the board, and we decided to go. And so we have been worked uh, very hard to make it happen, and here we are. So uh, I will remain the captain of the ship, but the strategy is clear, and we co will continue along the, the course. The governance is very, is very clear. Uh, the board of directors is very strong. We, are, we have one of the strongest boards of Italy, I would say, uh, that will uh, support me to make the right decision. I'm not a guy that will look at the stock every day. I just uh, will concentrate on my business strategy. And I think I remain confident on, on our capacity and on our leadership in immense luxury around the world. Right.